Connor, he was special. He really cared about other people, and he went out of his way to try to get people to smile. People loved him, especially me. He was a great big brother. Today after school, I am not going to be here when you and Ellie get home. I have some things I need to catch up on at the office. I should be home by dinner, so, but if I'm not, there is some stuff in the refrigerator. Okay. Hey, Mom, can you sign this? It just means you've seen my grades. A D in English? Oh, Connor, you can do better than that. Mom, Mom, I can't find my homework. Just a second, Ellie. Look. If you are going to get any scholarships at all, you are going to have to bring up your grades. We cannot afford tuition right now, okay? Mom? Oh. Morning, Connor. Good morning, Alice. Hey, did you finish your homework? Yeah, thanks for helping me with it. But I kind of lost it. I have a question. Well, I may possibly have an answer. How come you don't like to talk about Dad? What? Ellie, I found your homework. Here. Oh, okay. Uh, all right. Come on. We are going to be late. Mom, I need lunch money for school. I thought you asked for that last week. I did, but you only gave me enough for the week. Connor, I don't have any money on me, and I and I left my checkbook at work. Mom! You know I love you, Connor, but I do not have time to talk. Are you going to ride with us or not? Because we, we're going to be late. No, I'm just going to take the bus. Okay, and then we'll see you later. And where is my phone number if you need anything? On the fridge. Great.
Hey. What's going on here? That one looks new. Where do you get it? Oh, my um, little sister made it for me. She knows I have a thing about bracelets. That's nice. Hey, dude. So, this is really weird. But are you okay? I'm fine. What's wrong? I don't know. Something just seemed off. You want to come sit with me and Victoria? Yeah, sure. As long as you guys aren't going to be flirtatious the whole time. I really hope I'm not going to disturb me. No, not at all, dude. So, Connor, what's new with you? I'm just trying to get on Miss Clarkson's class alive. She gives us like three hours of homework every single night. Yeah, she's really tough. Last semester, she gave us this one assignment. Her so class isn't even that hard. You just have to try. Maybe if you stopped acting like an idiot in class and laughing about everything, you'd actually learn something. Victoria. I'm just saying. It's fine. I act stupid a lot. I, I, I gotta get to class, but I keep going to sit for now. No problem. What was that for? What? Dad, why were you being so rude to him? It's not a big deal. It's Connor. No one likes him anyways. He's a pizza heart and he's so loud. Do you know how many people find him annoying? It's not just me. He's a class clown. There's nothing wrong with being in He's an idiot. Stop it. I'm serious. There's something going on with him. His eyes are sadder, but he acts the same. I can't figure out what's going on. <laughs> okay, just stop. It's not a big deal. If you don't like the way I treat him, you don't have to put up with me. Come on, V, don't blow this up into some big fight. He is not your problem, Ethan. Maybe he's got crap going on. We all do. Let him deal with it. Please kill me now. I gotta go. This is not like you're getting attention if you're not in my seat. Trouble in paradise, huh, bud? Shut up. Hey, Mr. Johnson, is now a bad time? Not at all. Come on in. Take a seat. So, what's up? You okay? Yes, sir, I'm fine. But do you know Connor Evans? Like where I'm here? going? Yeah, that's him. Victoria and some other kids have never really liked him. And they've said some pretty mean things to him and talked bad about him behind his back. Some people have been intentionally avoiding him. Really? That surprises me. Connor seems like a pretty likable guy. Funny, bright, friendly. Yeah, some people just disregard all of that. And I know that that's fairly common. I mean, it is high school, but it's gotten pretty bad the last couple of months. You know how I read people? There's something about his eyes. They've gotten darker, I think. There's a lot of sadness in them, but he still acts like same old Connor. I don't know, he really worries me. And I didn't know if he's ever come into here and talked to you about anything. And if he hasn't, I think it might be good for him to. I know he probably doesn't want to talk to me about any of it. Hey, Connor, I was about to call you in. Thanks, Ethan. See you later. Bye. See you, Ethan. See you later, Connor. Hey, sorry, I was just walking through the hallways and people out there are crazy, knocking the books out of my hands. I know, right? Crazy out there. Yeah. Have a seat. So, um, I've heard that some of the kids here haven't been very nice to you lately. Um, I mean, some kids are just being mean-spirited, but it's all good, though. Well, I know some of the kids have treated you very badly. And trust me, I know how much damage that can do. Do you want to talk about it? Sometimes it helps just to vent, you know? <laughs> Thank you, but 
I don't need it. I'm pretty good at brushing things off, you know. Well, if you weren't fine, Connor, that would be okay. Those kids have treated you badly for a long time. I promise no one would judge you if you were hurt or you an outcast. It's not weak to feel that way or to want to talk about it. Seriously, like I said, I'm, I'm okay. I'm very good at brushing things off. And what they say, it, it doesn't bother me. Are you sure? Look, I just need you to know that if you need to talk, I'm here for you. My door always open. I promise I am fine, but thank you for being here for me. I do really have to get to class, though, so thank you for taking some time out, Mr. Johnson. All right. I'll see you later. See ya. Some people at Connor Evans seriously can't tell when they aren't wanted. Find another table to sit at. Finally, someone said it. LOL. I can't believe you tagged him. Yeah, like seriously, find another table. Hey, my bro, how's your day? It's not a good time right now, okay? Mine was good. Do you have any homework or could you help me with mine? Let's start Ellie, really Ellie, I'm not in the mood right now, okay? But you always help me with my homework. Not today, Ellie. But someone's got to. Dad used to before. Y yeah, Dad left us, Ellie. He he's gone. But Mommy said that maybe one day... Oh, shut up, Ellie. Dad left us. He doesn't care about you or me or Mom. He's gone. I, I'm, Ellie, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. <laughs> you have two kids and a wife to support. You can't go out leaving that's again. That's exactly what I'm doing, Kim, okay? Oh, you always get scared. How long have you been out of that cell? I'm trying to maintain this household. And what are you doing? You are the one who works and pushing me over the edge right now. Oh, it's your fault. You're always blaming me. It's all How am I not blaming you? You don't look at this house. Oh, it's not a problem. I'm not going to go. Where do you go? Where do you go? Where do you go? Class clouds, there's nothing wrong with being in the Those kids have treated you badly for a long time. A D in English? How come you don't like to help out Some people yeah, are seriously Those kids have treated you badly for a long time. Some people are seriously treated you badly for a long time.
Look, Mom. I might need you to watch Ellie for a few days. No, he's okay for now. They were able to stabilize him. But... But they want to send him to a treatment center for... Ellie, why, why don't you go upstairs and see if they have any coloring books, okay? A treatment center for kids that want to kill themselves. No, Mom. No. I, I, look, I knew Connor was going through a hard time. I knew that his grades were dropping. He had to pick up a lot of slack around the house when Mark left, but I had no idea that he was cutting. I never imagined that he would ever do anything like this. I mean, I was so busy at work, and I was so busy. I was so busy. I should have. I should have given him more of my attention. It'll be all right. He'll be okay, I'm sure. The teacher who told you said they had him stabilized, didn't she? Yes. But honey, I just talked to Connor this morning. He said he was fine. I knew he wasn't. I should have done something. I hadn't let him leave my office so easily. Maybe this wouldn't have happened. Don't do that to yourself, honey. It's not your fault. And whose fault is it? Ethan, wait. I can't go down there. Why not? It's my fault. It's my fault he did this. Victoria, don't do this. Don't blame yourself. It's my fault he did this, though, isn't it? It's my fault. Don't say that. You were right. I pushed Connor too far. Why did I have to be so horrible to him? It's my fault. It's my fault. When is mommy coming back to take me home? I'm not quite sure, but she'll be back from the hospital soon. Is Connor going to be okay? The doctor said he's going to be all right, but they, they want him to stay there so they can keep an eye on him. He may be gone for a little while. You want to make sure he doesn't hurt himself again? Yes, dear. What have you got there? It's a letter to Connor. May I hear it? Sure. Dear Connor, I'm sorry that you feel sad. That makes me sad, too. I'm sorry for being annoying sometimes. I don't like it that you hurt yourself, so I hope you won't do that anymore. I love you. See you soon. Love, Ellen. I think that's just perfect, darling. My brother changed after that. His eyes were more open to the world. 
He started to value his own life, and his outlook was a lot brighter. He was more serious, more of an adult, but certain parts of him didn't change. He still loved, he still cared, he still put other people's needs before his. He's still struggling with his depression, but he's talking to a counselor. Every once in a while, things get pretty rough for him, but that's life. I think people like Connor are why we should all be more aware of the people around us. We've got to be more attentive to people, more understanding. You never know what's going on in someone's head. We all have agendas, we all have celebrations, we all have troubles. Everyone has their own story and I think that's beautiful.